Adventure, intrigue, mystery, romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. Once again, the magic names of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall bring you Bold Venture and a tale of mystery and intrigue. Sailor, can you think of anything else to put in this letter we're sending to our former guest? What have you got so far? Well, let's see. I've got the item about how we've nailed down the hole in the carpet on the third step, and our casualty list is decreasing by leaps and bounds. Well, that ought to titillate them. Have you mentioned the spigots and the shower in 4B? Well, you've been keeping secrets from me, sailor. What do you know about the spigots in 4B that I don't know? Well, I had King change them around. <laughs> that sounds like fun. How come I wasn't invited? Now, when you turn on the spigot that says hot, hot water comes out. If there's any hot water. Who can ask for a squarer deal than that? Shannon! Huh? You say something, sailor? Shannon! What happened to your voice, sailor? You have been taking those dramatic lessons again? Go pour your face in a waffle iron. You're being paged out on the patio. (laughs) Don't pout, sailor. Someday it'll happen to you. Why don't you come right on inside, mister? Don't let the rates on the signs, Kay. We can always work something out. You walked right into it, you naive boy, you. Now that you've shown me your gun, you can have any room in the house. All the other hotels are filled up, huh? You just said something that'll make me chuckle myself to sleep. The keys, Shannon. The keys to the dreamboat bold venture. You're not doing this right, Buster. You're asking for the wrong things. I'm happy you're making it hard for me. Lucky me. I get to pick your pockets and everything. Dream a dream of a dreamboat that sailed away, Shannon. This bull venture handles like a sweet dream, Paul. Don't fall in love with it, kid. Just dock it. What's the matter? You know this? Dock the boat. Keep it right where we are, kissing this pier. Careful with the dynamite. Don't be nervous. Not nervous, Al. This is the way I throw myself. Be right back, kid. Bring money. That's all you got to do. Good evening, Chico. Buenas noches, senor. But you have the wrong place, see? Uh Uh-uh. I've been thinking of this place day and night. Oh, senor... What is it you wish? Part of it is this. Inside. You, you, this, my boy. Again. You, you. Now close the door. Close it. You want this gun to let the air whistle through you. No. Oh, nice. You did that good. Oh, what mistake are you making, senor? This is the office of the Tomasino Refining Company. I am but the night watchman. I do not know what... Tell your friends. <laughs> Tell them all about it. Oh, you're not such a big safe at that, are you? Now, let's see you spill your innards out. Oh, Al's going to be happy to see all that money. like I didn't hit that watchman hard enough. Come on, come on. Take it easy. I got to turn this tub around. Did you get... Uh, you wing you? Oh, uh, yeah. Ernst, hold the wheel. Grab it. We're okay, Al. Don't worry about a thing. Don't worry about anything at all.
It'll leave a scar where I hit you, Slate. So, now girls will stop on the street and say, who's that interesting fellow with the interesting scar on his forehead? And you know what? I'll tell them. But you can no longer ask them would they care to go for a boat ride, Mr. Slate. Yeah. What are you going to do now that you've run out of bribes, Slate? You've been barred from our better streetcars. Well, let's worry about one thing at a time, huh, sailor? Right now I'm in the mood to shed another tear for a boat I built my life around. I called the lost and found department of the police again, Mr. Slate. Yeah, what they say? They say no boat. Don't call us. We'll call you. They'll find it, Slate. Everyone knows the bold venture. Somebody's bound to... Oh, I'll get it. I'll get it. Slate Shannon speaking. I shall wait for you on Guanapo Beach, senor. Do not keep me waiting too long. I bubble with secrets of the bold venture. <laughs> I wait. You bring yourself? Yeah, I bring myself. Come on, sailor. Let's go talk to a man who's bubbling with all kinds of things. <laughs> Senor Shannon? That's right. Who are you? Uh, what about the senorita? You'll never know, amigo. Start saying what you have to say, Chico. A man can catch the croup in this night air. See, that is why we shall make it rapid. First, to prove to you my stirring character, all I wish is uh, 50%. 50% of what? Oh, forgive me, I did not explain. I shot at you earlier this evening. You must have used a short, flabby gun, Chico, because... I am not, Chico. I am Senor Malaga, night watchman at the Tomasino refinery. Malaga, to you with the senor in front. Slate, turn your back to the man with the senor in front. Let's get out of here. Now, wait a minute. How'd you know anything about the bull venture, Malaga? To refresh your memory, I will give you several items. Item one, the Tomasino refinery was robbed tonight. A fact which I reported to the police. Well, I give you a hearty slap on the back for citizenship. So what's the bold venture got to do with it? Uh, you know too well the bold venture was used as the method of getaway for the crime I mentioned in item one. You are the man who drove the boat away. I consider this intelligence as item two. I'll bet item three is going to chill you to your quick slate. One man, your friend, blew up the safe. You remained with the boat and sped zoom into the night. So you saw the name of the boat and found out who owned it from the ship's registry and came to me. And now you want 50% of what was stolen. See how you are right. Or I will make a return appearance at the police and breathe your name. You're going to breathe it, huh? Inhale deep, Chico. Come on, sailor. We'll take it from here. <laughs> How do you like the tired world we live in, sailor? Oh, tired. You said it, kid. A loyal, true blue night watchman gets beaten on the head, robbed. And he tried to make friends with a guy he thinks did it to him for a share of the profits. How do you like it? I have to tell you now, can't you wait until morning? You sleepy? Oh, well, it shows, huh? Or did you just diagnose that because you once took a course in first aid? <laughs> Go on up to your room, sailor. I'll take care of things down here. Hey, hey, look at what just walked in. Yeah, I'm looking. How does a girl stay that fresh this time of night? How does she... Go on up to your room, sailor. I promise I'll take care of things down here. You know what? I ain't sleepy no more. Like that I ain't sleepy. Doesn't it sicken you? If I'd known you were coming, I'd have rolled out a doormat. Welcome. Welcome to Shannon's place. I'm Shannon. And I'm Duval. Of Shannon and Duval. I won't break it up, honey. All I want from your boy is my husband's cut of the dough they stole together. Oh, that'll be the heist your goom and I pulled at the Tomasino refinery, huh? You own the bold venture? Uh-huh. That would be the heist. I, uh, came to pick up Al's pay envelope. You know how husbands are, honey. They get their pay, they don't come home right away. Ain't it always that way, honey? A skate works her fingers to the bone. Her guy don't appreciate. He makes hanky-panky. You bore me, kid. The dough, Shannon. I want Al's share of the dough. When we were married, we swore community property to each other. You won't live to break up a love like that. 
Don't go away, Don. You fascinate me. Shannon speaking. Yeah? Well, why don't you just tell me over the phone, LaSalle? Oh. Okay, right away. You two gals go right ahead with the girl talk. I've got a thing with a cop. Hey, you found it, Inspector LaSalle. You found my boat. You are happy, see? Well, you bet I'm happy, see? I was starting to get frantic, see? Do not stop getting that way, Senor Shannon. Well, what are you talking about? Come aboard the boat. I will show you. What's on your mind? Come aboard. All right. Oh, you mean the muddy footprints on deck? I don't mind. Sailors are whiz with a mop and a bucket. Here. Look here. This man lying there. You had trouble with him, huh? Looks like he's hurt. He is dead. Dead? Why? How? Why on my boat? So what is all this? Wait. Senor Malaga. See, si, Inspector? Malaga? Hey, that's the... I said wait. Hey, uh, Malaga, take a good look at this man. I have looked. I have made up my mind. This is the man who robbed the refinery, eh? I should have brained you the first time. <laughs> Don't do not let him touch me, Inspector! This is Shannon, or my gun will cripple your intentions. <laughs> that is better. Now you are merely under arrest for murder. Our stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, and the second act of our story. Please observe, Miss Duval, how the penal system of Cuba provides for the recreation of our cutthroats, volleyball. He gets rid of the energy. Why isn't Slate playing? Why is he just sitting there with a bicycle pump? This worries me, too. We will find out. Senor Shannon! Venga aquí! Come here! He looks tired. Well, it's about time you got here, sailor. You don't have to snap at me. What's the matter? Won't the other fellows let you play? Won't let me play. I'm the coach, sailor. We're going to tour, give exhibitions at all the pokies in the Caribbean. Oh, it'll be like old times for you, Inspector LaSalle. Uh, mind if I talk to the man alone? For one minute. And this is against the rules. I only acquiesce because of Senor Shannon's contribution to our athletic program. What'd you find out, sailor? I didn't find out anything. Look, sailor, what did that woman tell you after I left? Nothing. She walked out in back of you. Well, you've got to do something. Find that night watchman, Malaga. Make him say he was mistaken. Make him say he never saw me before. How am I going to do that? Just let him stare at you. It'll make him forget everything he ever knew. I want to learn all over again. <laughs> Stop melting, sailor. Here comes LaSalle. <laughs> Whatever you're selling, boy, take it down the hall. I'm fresh in or whatever you got. You can take the black crepe down off your door, Widow Chapman. I brought you a happy, happy. Uh, this is a hallway with a big ear, honey. Why don't we go inside? Tell me first, with who do I have the pleasure? Call me Paul, because that's what Al called me. When he died, he whispered my name. Paul. Like that. You try it, honey. You, uh... Brought his widow Al's gift from beyond? Uh-huh. In the right-hand coat pocket. Well, why do you let a widow stand out in a cold hall? Why don't you take her inside? Come on. All right, the dough, the money, the cash. Give me. Yeah. Five grand. 
Al told me he'd knock off at least ten on that job. Did he? Did he now? Well, it was only a comment. A girl can be happy with five thousand and no husband to guide her. Just for that, just because you're so nice, I'll throw in me for nothing. Al should have introduced you to me a long time ago, Marge. So we finally meet when there's finally no Al. Oh, it's a bright day, Paul. It drips with sunshine. That watchman identifies Shannon because I'm cute enough to use Shannon's boat. The watchman shoots Al, points a finger at Shannon. Shannon is held for theft and murder. That leaves me and you alone in all the wide, wide world. Oh, bless that watchman. He might get a good look at Shannon one day and know it wasn't him. You're kidding, Marge. I said bless the watchman. Things like this, you say, over the dead. Yeah. You want to hang this coat up somewhere? You will pardon the disposition of my house, senorita. But I did not expect such as you. Don't apologize, Malaga. I like your place. Cozy and homey. Such as you, senorita. Never have I been so close to one such as you. I am not distasteful to you. Distasteful isn't the word. I am happy. You're going to tell the police you made a mistake, aren't you? Eh? You didn't see Slate at that robbery. For you? For me. Whatever you... Oh, pardon, senorita. <gasps> senorita! Malaga, what happened? The, oh. the knife eats at my heart. The pain. <gasps> Look, LaSalle, you finally get me in your crummy pokey. I finally get my cell arranged around to suit a man of my tastes and breeding. Why don't you let me enjoy it? Hmm. I will keep you from your cozy cell only a few moments, Shannon. Now, look, don't pull a gun on me. I'll stay and chat with you. You're really lonesome, aren't you, kid? Oh, the gun in my hand is only that I feel nude without it. Policemen have nightmares where he's in a room with a desperate killer and there is no gun in his hands. <laughs> I'm in your nightmares too, huh, kid? Lucky me. You are decorating my office, Shannon, because Malaga the watchman who identified you has been killed dead with a knife. Confess to me who are your hooligan comrades, the hooligans who murder for you while you are in jail. The hooligans who... Let's see now. There's, uh, there's Peppy the Dirk. He's our number one hooligan. And there's Waxy the Finger. They call him that because he always got his finger in his mouth. And... Do not make funnies with me, senor. Gee. From this window, I gaze upon Havana. And Havana gazes back and she asks me, La Salle, why do you... You got that nude feeling again, LaSalle, because you just left your gun on your desk and it just leaped into my hand. No, don't turn around. Tell me what Havana was asking you so I can make a smooth exit, huh? You cannot escape, senor, you cannot. I wish you could turn around to watch me, LaSalle. <laughs> the fool thinks he engineered his own escape. <laughs> ah, LaSalle, I pat your clever bald head. Here. Pat it with your gun, LaSalle. I don't understand it, but thanks. Get out of here. I give you a chance to prove yourself not guilty. Take it before I change my stupid mind. Tell me again how you escaped from jail, Slate. Oh, I can't. It was too bloody. It'll haunt me always. Go on, tell me. You sure you can take it, kid? I brought my own grain of salt. Uh, by the way, you'd better order some more. I just cleaned us out. You don't believe it, sailor. You don't believe how I held the sal in front of me as a human shield, mowed down three finks who stood in my way. Finks I swore to get. Scaled the prison wall. Those searchlights, those sirens screaming, the tommy guns, typing out my obituary. The other cons cheering me on. Uh, we're out of salt, huh? Order some. I'm your ma, kid. Been with you through thin and the thick. Mostly the thin. So out with it, knucklehead. What really happened? It's like I told you, sailor. Uh, Mr. Slate, a little boy just came to the door. He had a message for you. I took it. A little boy with torn pants. Yeah, well, you can sew them up later, King. What message? Uh, from a man of the name Paul. 
This Paul waits for you on Verdugo Key. He say if you want to sit in the fat lap of luxury to bring the bold venture. Who wants to sit anywhere else? Let's go, sailor. I've been waiting to get a fat lap thrown at me. I owe one to LaSalle. Come on, hurry up, sailor. Yeah, I'll give you a hand on the boat. Thanks. I always like to watch a guy hand a girl on to something. Well, if it isn't the man who heisted my boat key, what do you want this time? You were just going over to Verdugo Key to get me. I'm saving you trouble. A uh, point of information. Is your name Paul? Paul. Me and my gun have been reading the papers and wondering about you, Shannon. How come you break out of prison and go right home and the cops never touch you? I remember the boys at Christmas. Uh-uh, that's not why. What they do, deputize you to find me? Because you're the only one who knows who to look for because I once stole your boat to blast a safe. Tell them who I am, sailor. What? Go ahead. Tell them how we got this boat. Well, uh, the lady who owned it wasn't pretty. But she was middle-aged and wealthy. I believe the phrase is, uh, she was a sucker for a con. What's she trying to say, Shannon? She's trying to tell you that you and I can match backgrounds. You want proof? Just that, proof. Well... There's an easy job we can pull tonight. Consuelo is a jewelry shop on the tourist pier. It's a cinch. This time of night she's counting money. Okay, Shannon, I'll nurse this boat. This ladder leads to the back of Consuelo's. Bring back money. See you, sailor. Consuela. Oh, Slade Shannon, baby. Why do you walk in my shop the back way on tippy toe? You can come in the front on your flat feet. Do me a favor. Oh, wait, I, I go call my home, tell them I work late at the store tonight. Now, all I want you to do is scream. Uh, this is a, a new approach from the United States? Please, if you've ever done anything for me in your life, scream. All right. Okay. You did fine. I need some money, Consuelo. A lot of money. All you've got in the store. You can throw in some choice diamonds, too. You are in trouble, dear one, to me. Yeah. A lot of trouble. Hmm. So, here is money. The, the weaker seats. And here, jewelry. A tray. Consuela, I love you. I will also return the merchandise and another one of these. Oh, oh take another diamond. Adios, dear one to me. What'd you bring back, Shannon? Cash box full of money and a tray full of jewelry here. We get friendlier all the time. We hear to scream, Slate. What did you do to her? When I left her, she was numb. Let's get out of here. Ah, now the boat's going to give me trouble. What's with you, Shannon? Get her going. I can't start it. You're clever with boats. You do it. Out of the way. No wonder you didn't turn on the... Ign- no, you don't, Shannon. I can't hear you. Get- you want it all, Shannon? I'll give it a- Not all, just this much. Ah. Is it all over now? Can we go home? Sure, sailor. First we dump this guy on LaSalle's doorstep. Then we go wherever you want. Hey, Slade. What? Where did you get that diamond ring? What ring? Not the one on your nose. The one you're wearing on your finger. 
a gift from an admirer. Consuela? Yeah, she uh, she admires me because I'm clean living, upright, and a solid citizen. Bully for you. How'd you get the ring? Like this? Come here. You blame her? No. You have a jewelry shop. You give jewels. Once more, Slade. That makes a dime even I owe you. Take another one. I'm having a special this week. Three for ten. And so our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rose. May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, together in Bold Venture.